Hey my beautifuls, Tawana Michelle here, we live beautifully natural and I do videos on beauty, handbags and lifestyle. Today I have a handbag video for you and welcome back to my 12 days of Christmas series. This is Christmas day three, I am counting down honey. I am counting down to the day and we are almost there. So for the past few years, I've been doing a Christmas themed bag and so I'm gonna show you what I have in that bag. I did an unboxing because this was my last coach purchase of 2023 and here is the bag some of you may have seen that video if you checked it out this I was super excited about getting this bag she is super super cute so I'm gonna give you a review of her since I've been using it for a little while now just a few days actually <laughs> and um kind of show you what I have in her to make it Christmas theme so this is the coach mini uh, city tote this is my first mini city tote and so far I've been loving it although there's one thing that I don't really like about it but that's probably user error okay I'm sure that's my issue but I'll tell you about that in just a minute so as you can see I have this cute little uh, reindeer pocket back holder that I got from Bath and Body Works and then I have a uh, Bath and Body Works pocket back hand sanitizer here um, I don't know which scent it is, child, and I, I'm not about to take it out right now, but it, I pulled a red one because, hey, Christmas colors, right? Oh, let me say, I did go with a red and pink sort of Christmassy theme, okay? I always have to throw that pink in there, and besides, if you look at this, um, at these bows closely, I don't know if you can really see it on the camera, but the bows are actually pink and red, so I thought that was perfect considering I wanted to go with that theme. So anyway. This is what she's looking like on the inside and she is super full, which is sort of the problem that I have with this bag. It's not really a problem per se. Um, I carry her like this, of course. And so usually as a top handle or just kind of put her on my shoulder like that. Okay. And it actually does work. Um, I prefer carrying her on my shoulder than a top handle, although I do both because she does not close. There is no closure. We are aware that the city tote does not have a closure, the large city tote, but because it holds so much stuff, you're able to kind of take the two sides and I don't know, push them together. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't like stay open the way this one does. But again, I have a lot of stuff in here because when there was nothing in here, the bag actually stayed closed more than it is so now. let me show you this cute little set y'all this cute little set right here i got from victoria's secret um i think last year when this was on sale and i have not used it yet because i actually got it after christmas i like to catch a lot of after christmas types of sales and so i just thought these two are so cute and it would be perfect with a christmas theme bag now as you can see this is sort of a plaid color it has both that red green and pink i thought it was like a perfect theme it fit what i'm trying to do so i'm going to show you um what i have in these two the first one here i've really just used as my wallet and i'll show you what this wallet is like just in case you are interested um this wallet holds a lot, okay? I'm just gonna flash you real quickly. There are four, no. Yeah, there are four card holder slots, two on each side, and then you have these other little compartments where you can fit stuff. I have cards in here, I have insurance cards, I have my business cards, I have all types of stuff in here that fits, and I really do like this wallet. Um, and I'll probably be looking for other wallets like this from Victoria's Secret. I think they hold a lot. I think they're super cute. And then I have this little um, pouch here. This actually has a keychain on it. So you can put this on your keys and just take this as your little wallet if you want to, or just kind of, you know, take it as a little wristlet and put maybe a a strap or something on here you could also attach this to the front of your bag which I hardly ever do that um, I only put like charms and pocket bags and stuff like that but you could you could do a lot with this so I actually have this as my tech pouch um, I have my ear pods in here and I have the charger and I have some wire earbuds and for some reason yeah I had this in here the last time I have my little purse hanger um and i just stick it in there because i don't know i guess it's it fits in these little pouches now if you want to use this as a wallet this doesn't have any card holders inside but on the outside 
there is a little pocket here. You could fit your ID, you could fit a credit card or both actually. You could fit about two cards in there. And so that'll work. And I thought it was super cute. And then I just kept my same little green um, pouch from Ipsy. I had this in my last bag and you know what? I was looking for green, like just plain solid green pouches and I don't have a lot. So I need to purchase some, especially considering I like to do a Christmas bag every year, especially considering I do an, a pink and green AKA theme bag every year, which that's coming up in January. But I have bags with both pink and green. I just don't have a lot of solid green. So I, I need to get that. This is my bathroom pouch here. And I just have my flossers in here. Um, I have my toilet seat covers. Nothing new, right? This is all the same stuff that's always in here. My um, soap sheets my princess tissues um i have feminine white panty liner tampon yeah and then i have this perfume by nanette lapore um fiercely this is the same one you know i just sometimes i switch this out i didn't switch it out this time because i literally just took this pouch from one bag and put it into the next bag and I do have some stuff that's just kind of thrown in the bottom and not in pouches so I have this little nail clip uh this little nail kit here it has a file nail file it has a uh, nail clipper it has some tweezers in here and it has some nail cuticle scissors so I like to keep that in there, even though most of the time lately I've been wearing press-ons and so I don't usually need much of this, except maybe like a nail file if my, um, I don't know, press-on is chipping or gets stuck on something or whatever. But when I have my, when I wear my real nails, I do use these a lot. And I thought that sparkly kind of silvery color kind of went with a Christmassy theme. The next thing that I have in here is this little pink sequence pouch. Um, I am going to do sort of an overview for you guys so you can see how everything came together. I don't always do that, but I want to do that for this Christmas bag. I don't remember I got this. I think maybe Dollar Tree, um, R. Sheehan, and what do I have in here? I have some mints, a Werther, some of those Lifesaver mints, and that's it. Again, I was going with like real sparkly and, you know, Christmassy. Then I have... Um, this is my eyeglass holder again pink shimmery type of deal i can't remember where i got this from um i just don't know but i have my same versace sunglasses in here that i've been wearing for quite a bit and then y'all red and pink pouch that i'm using for my makeup so i'm going to show you what i have in here because i do tend to change um my makeup out or at least like whatever I'm wearing on my lips. So I kind of pick out makeup that I want to wear for the week because I have a lot. I have a lot of lippies and eyeshadows and blush and stuff. And so I try to switch it out and then whatever lips, I, whatever lip products I'm going to wear, I tend to keep in my bag so that I can remember to put those on because I like to wear all of my lip stuff. The first thing I have here is this Michael Kors Sexy Ruby perfume that I really do like for the fall and winter. It is a very sort of... Um, it's a very warm, sexy, musky kind of scent. I really like it. It's very romantic. Next thing I have here is a Sephora lip stain. Um, this is in the color, it just has the number 07. They hardly ever have the colors on here. But this is like a, this is actually not a lip stain. This is the Sephora Cream Lip Shine. I do love this. This is sort of a burnt red color that I do like to wear in the fall and winter. Um, I have my cuticle oil that I use. I try to use daily. I don't always um, remember to do so. I have another Sephora. Now, I think this is a cream lip stain. As you can see, I love these uh, Sephora brand lipsticks. The I just, I really love them. They're a great formula. Like the, the lip shine one is good. The, the stain ones are good. They're not drying. I really like it. Um, this is the number 57. This is like a rosy pink that I do like. I have my Max Studio Fix um, uh, 
powder foundation. That's probably almost, oh no, I'm not. I thought I was almost out, but I have quite a bit in there. And I'm in the color NW35. I'm not wearing that today. In fact, I don't think I put on any foundation today. I just put on a little concealer and put um, a loose powder on top, not a pressed powder. And then I have this NARS lip balm. And this is like a, this is like a bronzy kind of color, color, but it's not very pigmented. It's really a lip balm. It just adds like some moisture and like a protective layer to your lips. This is a sample size that I got from Sephora not too long ago. And um, so I just wear that when my lips are dry. I also have this um, Benefit Pore Professional Super Setter. And this is the travel size. I really do like this, y'all. This stuff has my makeup lasting. I'm telling you. Um, I am definitely going to get the full size version of this. This is why it's in my bag. It's in my bag because I'm going to be going to Sephora within the next week. And I want to get um, the full size setter, makeup setter. And I'm going to forget. I'm going to forget to get it. I'm going to forget the name of it and all that stuff. So I have it in here for that purpose. And also, um, sometimes if I touch my makeup up, if I'm out for a while, then I'll respray. But, you know, I haven't been out long enough to need this for a while. But, like I said, I, this was in my bag as a reminder that I want to get the full size. I have a hair claw clip. Because I do like to put my hair up sometimes. I have a hair tie for the same reason. Um, I've got some bobby pants that I keep in here for the same reason. Sometimes if I'm putting my hair up in a bun or in a ponytail, or whatever, I might need to, you know, pin some pieces back. Um, I've got my Chanel mirror here that I've been loving. I've got my pink tweezers. It's hard to really see the pink on camera, but it is a nice baby pink color. And then I have my pink kiss um gel nail glue which i love and then on the inside i also have some strawberry and cream tic tacs i haven't even opened these things i was at the grocery store and i picked these up and threw them in my bag but i really do like them i like anything strawberry and cream so i need to keep those out so i can use them and then i have my little pouch here where i have some of my crystals if you've watched any of my what's in my bags then you have seen me um, show you what crystals are in here but i'm not going to take all of those out i think i have an amethyst um i think i put my yellow citrine in there and maybe a green adventurine i do sometimes change the crystals out and i have in the past couple weeks and then there's this pouch inside y'all with the snap closure which i really like because i can secure some stuff in there and nothing major um i put my lotion in here this levito aromatic body lotion i love this y'all I, I don't remember where i got it but it has patchouli vanilla and jojoba i think i got this from um ipsy and y'all you like patchouli honey you gonna love this it smells so amazing so i was able to fit that in there um i also have in this little pouch some pins to match my theme i've got the green pink and red and then i also have um two of these joe's crab shack hand wipes because hubby and i um, and the kids, my son, we do like to go and eat seafood quite a bit. So, you know, <laughs> got to have those wipes. But that's all I have. I'm about to show you the overview um, of what it's looking like. So this is what it's looking like. My Christmas bag. Thank you guys for watching.